Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to give you an overview of a new plugin module um, added to MRAC called PS Minder. So um, before I start, um, please remember to subscribe as it helps with the channel to grow and bring more videos and tutorials. Thank you. So I just created a new patch. So let's uh, click on the plus sign. Let's go to the tags section and then uh, let's go to sequencer and then let's scroll down 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 until you find this nice new model ps minda hopefully that is pronounced in the right way so let's double click on it and uh, there it is it's quite an interesting module i'm not going to go through um control by control perhaps i'll do that later in another tutorial but um you can see it has its own clock it can produce harmony um, you can produce melody, also bass line, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's see how you can uh, quickly use it. So as there are different parts which are coming out from the module, so let's uh, first add in a mixer. And let's choose an uh, A-channel mixer that um, like so. Perfect. Okay, um, this is a generator, is part of the sequencer, so you still need a synth right so let's go to uh the synth section so synth tags here we go and let's choose choose the fm op for simplicity so here we go so let's click on these and old moving down there right okay let's zoom in a little bit more okay let's start with uh, uh the base which is uh, down here it says base enable so let's take the output here and so that we can generate uh, uh, the right note from uh, uh, the module. Then let's uh, drive also the gate to the FM operator so uh, that it knows when to uh, act on the gate events to produce notes. And then let's take the, actually let's take the volume as well so we can control the volume directly to the level here of the mixer and let's connect the output. Okay, next we need to connect the mixer, otherwise it will not work, to the output. Okay, there it is. So left with left, right with right. And as you can hear, you're starting to hear some of uh, the sound which is coming out from the plugin. So let's configure a little bit more uh, um, the FM operator. Okay, now I'm going to increase the volume here for the bass, like so, right? And then I'm going to remove the octave, okay, so it doesn't play the octave anymore. Here we go, finally. Next. I'm going to increase the frequency of the note for the bass. And you can see here on the score, which is appearing, is the green note. Nice. Let's create uh, uh, another FM operator, like so. Let's uh, move it uh, down there, okay, and uh, probably a little bit further down, like so. Move this FM operator a bit more on the right hand side. Let's double click these. Actually, let's configure this one first. So we're going to use the um, 
<clears throat> harmony which comes from here for this module here so um let's connect the v oct like so on the first note it is harmony so they have different notes that will be coming out as well so let's uh, connect it like so and then uh, let's connect the output there and the volume as well on the level let's click play okay perfect now what i want to do is here you can change the preset so let's go up change um, the preset something different the melody which will be on this part here you can see you can also have a, an arpeggiator here you have a lot of different functionality you can target octave you can have octave range you can set the variability volume staccato hold to um, notes and you can have also to fit within the chords or to use the scale so a lot of different uh, um, functionalities so let's uh, duplicate this one and um, let's play with that so uh, let's take that for melody uh, that okay perfect and let's do the usual volume up to here gate that output here let's click play and also check here the score Let's apply an arpeggiator on top of it.
Okay, why not? Let's add some drums now. Why not? So let's go to drum here. Let's add a kick. Let's connect the uh, output there. And for the trigger, we go here for every bit. Let's try. Let's um, add some hi hats now. So as you can see, a fantastic new addition to MRAC. It's really easy to create composition harmonies with your melodies, bass, etc. etc. There are a lot of more functionality which I will explore in another tutorial. Thank you very much. See you at the next video. Bye.